Well, I don't know, because we're going to be going over uh, the new... Whatchamacallums? The new augments and things in TFT. Can't, I can't think of words. This will be in the video. We'll cut out a bit of the long intro. Actually, we won't, because we'll use this part to talk about what everything and whatnot. This is going to be another uh, Loi Lu uh, tutorial, like help, help video. Hopefully, get you into like silver, or gold. Hopefully. We'll go over the uh, the origins and the augments. Sorry, my headphones are fucked up right now. At least my opinions of them and our thoughts. So we'll start off the uh, guess just from here. The new traits, the origins, astral every fifth shop increases the odds to show astral champions. Also grants an astral orb. The astral orb is generally at level three. It's to about two gold, maybe three gold. At six, it's like five or six gold. At nine, I can't remember. But you sometimes get components. It's essentially yordles and pirates kind of mixed together. If you want a lot of goldens without actually getting lucky or not, whatnot, astral is the one for you. And it is possible to get to nine astral in like without a spatula or without a augment drilling with just the units in the game it's a uh they also give 5 ap 30 ap and 60 ap to all astral champions oh sorry to all the all your team it's a very good secondary thing you're guaranteed to get some goldens or not guaranteed, but you're more likely to get goldens and you're also guaranteed to get some money so it's a decent amount of income well not a decent amount but it's better than nothing you know Next up is the guild. The guild uh, grants a unique bonus to your team. Guild members can double the amount. Increases for each guild member in play. Strawny gains 100 health, but... You know, 200 health, because she's a guild. At least I think it's 200. Uh, Twitch gains 10% attack speed, rise 10 ability power, talent 10 AD, bar 2 mana of attack. The emblem is 3% omnivamp. 2, 3, 4, 5, so there's 5 to, to double the bonus to your team, which would be a quadruple for them, and even higher bonus for 6. It can proc off for just 1, so it's literally just one of these units has better stats. It's a decent uh, secondary. It's also a good thing to focus if you really want to, because it has a lot of synergy with a lot of different units, because of how like varied it is in classes. Next is Jade. Summons a movable Jade statue that grows in power. Uh, each combat hour adjacent to the statue gain attack speed and maximizes health healing every two seconds. Attach to destroy deals 50% of its health. As magic damage to enemies. I believe it's only at the start they have to be adjacent to it. So it's like a... You know. Like a Zeke's or something. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll try it. We'll test it that for this game. Mirage is the current, is set 6.5's mutants. And it has uh, more variety, but I think less, like, you recognize a lot of old previous things. Sorry, we'll go, we'll go over Jade a bit more. Uh, one statue at three, two statues at six, three statues at nine, which is possible to get, and I don't think you can get 12 without assistance from augments and whatnot. Not has sure on that one. And the healing also increases attack speed. And then the Mirage, the Pirate. Uh, you can't see it because I'm covering it, so I'll move this for a second. Because you can't see it anyway. Um, 
Go to Ascension. Uh, the Mirage thing. You now have a thing that tells you the Mirage. You don't have to go looking for another round. It's very convenient. Uh, I don't know if they... They don't have social anymore, but I'm pretty sure they would have a social-like thing. But yeah, the Mirage Electric Overload when attacking will be an attack to... Uh, gain a chance to deal 8% of their maximum health as magic damage to adjacent enemies. It's basically the Augment, but with higher damage. Warlord's Honor. This is the Warlord trait from a previous set. It's literally that. After winning any combat, gain bonus. Uh, they gain bonus health and ability power, and after winning combat, increases by 10% up to 5. 52%. I was going to get a chest of loot after each player combat. Doesn't mean you have to win it. You just gain it after every player combat, which is very. I haven't actually had the experience of playing this one. Dawnbringer's Determination. Once per combat, rapidly heal up 50% health. It's Dawnbringer. Executor's Edge, always critical strike, low health targets. I think this number is wrong, but I'm unsure. We'll find a Mirage unit. Oh, they already have some. Yeah, that number was written wrong. It's uh, at 100%, 50% crit chance. Or crit damage, sorry. So they're just guaranteed to uh, crit at when, the, when you're at 8 of them. Which is a very strong thing. Spell swords after each combat gain ability power per... Or each player combat gain ability power per attack. That's a new one, that's interesting. Uh... Mirage units move faster, and the attack bonus get up to 10. Attack bonus grabs attack speed of 10 stacks. You can have 300% attack speed. Which would be insane. Rage Wing Champions, uh, they convert mana to rage. Blue buff does work with this. Attacks turn at 15 rage after casting ability. You wait for 4 seconds, 25 percent attack speed, but, but can't gain rage. And when you have X amount of... Uh, Rage Wing, they get bonus stats. There's Attack Speed and Omnivamp. It's a, it's a pretty... I guess I should go over them. Uh, the Jade is pretty strong. It's, very, it's a very good main one. I, believe in the future of I really want that to find out if it's uh, adjacent at the start or uh, during the game. It can be, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's also the Jade is a tier 4 dragon. So you can get an extra 3 real early on. The Astro's a tier 5, so you actually have to wait till the end to get it. Uh, Electric Overlord, it seems bad, but I'm unsure. Like, not terrible, but it seems like the worst out of them. Warlord's Honor is always strong. Warlord is good. Pirate's Greed seems interesting. I haven't tried it. Dawnbringer... It can be very strong. It's basically the healing one. If you get the healing one in like a center or second wind with Dawnbringer, at like tens, you know your units will have a lot of health. Executioner's Edge is very strong. It's just I should get eight of them. Eight of them you're always critting. Spell Swords Enchantment. It seems like a. There's a lot more things that scale with AP. Like a lot of things that don't scale with any AP at all. So at least it's definitely more useful now than it was last than it would have been last set. And Duelist Dexterity, that could be that's basically Challenger, but on steroids almost. So yeah, Challenger, and each Challenger has a uh Rage Blade. So it can be very strong. Give me this. Rage Wing is good just by itself because the people who have it and if you give someone else a rage wing it's just 15 mana versus 14 basically now we shall but last. the omni vamp and uh attack speed is also very strong shavana is a good carry uh chrome and zaya are also very strong swain is amazingly strong shen is okay 
Kane and Seth and Senna are also eh. Revel. After dealing damage with an ability launch, a firecracker that deals magic damage to a random enemy. That sounds amazing because it also does 125, 200, 300, 450 magic damage to a amount of rebels. There are four in the game. It's not that good. Reason being the champions themselves. Like the ability is great. But uh, Tom Kench here, we'll read this one. Tom Kench shields himself for 250 health over 6 seconds. While the shield holds, enemies that damage him take 75 damage net. Magic damage once every three seconds. The shield's only there for six seconds, so we can only damage two people with this ability. Uh, Jinx. Jinx summons a line of traps in our target. The traps don't have to be delay dealing extra damage. And certainly enemies hit for 1.5 seconds. So she could hit three people, but it's like... It's not that good. Uh, Sona, I can't actually tell you... Let's see, I guess we click on it. So does Crescendo. It's her ultimate. Uh, let's see, where is her... Mana costs. Oh, 75 out of 175. That will take way too long. However, Corky is actually amazing for this. Because he only has 60 mana, he has decent attack speed, you can buff him real quick. Corky launches a barrage of four missiles at his target. Revel is after dealing damage with an ability, so like it can proc multiple times, I'm pretty sure. I'm not don't quote me on that one, I think it can. But either way, Corky does a lot of damage. So it's not a terrible one, you can get it also with two, but like the units themselves are not great. And I cannot find a jade for the life of me. Alright, Scale Sword. If you don't have a dragon on your team, Scale Sword and Champions do bonus magic damage. And take 25% bruise damage from enemies with more than 22 health. If someone is going bruiser... I don't know if there actually is bruiser. There is, okay. If someone is going bruiser, this is actually great against them. Uh, but as for the extra damage, I, it's okay. It's not amazing. It's not going to really like oh man this is the best one ever but the uh, the champions in it are actually very strong Olaf and Diana are amazingly strong Lilia uh, I think is pretty strong but not like stupidly and Brahma is a very good tank Shimmer Scale grants exclusive random Shimmer Scale items this one is entirely luck based There is another jade. Don't worry, I am here. I believe in the future of dragon's eyes. I'll go down to zero looking for there we go. Alright, uh yeah, it's entire luck based, depending on the item you get immediately makes it either good or bad. The items themselves are very strong, but the champions don't exactly mesh with the items. So you might have to make a build based around the item you get. For example, uh, can we get to see the items? Alright. We'll find out real quick if it's, uh... If it's adjacent or not. We'll take the loss now, we're not really... That's a... Oh, it's Pugs. Alright, the Shimmer Scale items. I don't... They don't actually seem to have a descriptor for them. Oh, they do, okay. Let's see. Uh, the Gambler's Blade. Increases 1% bonus attack speed per gold in your bank up to 80%. 
and each basic attack has a 40% or a 4% chance to drop one gold. Alright, so you can get a maximum of 80% attack speed, or 100%, sorry. It's not terrible. It actually is probably one of the better starting ones. But, uh, where is it? Need the sleeping gem? No. Where, where is it? Gold Mancer Staff, gain one ability that per gold in your bank up to 80, and a 30% chance to drop two gold on enemy kill. So you can actually gain up to 110 extra ability power for this. Or, sorry, 100. Also, didn't check the thing. However, the problem is, the units you have for this are Aatrox, Kane, Volibear, and Zoe. Zoe would be great, but Zoe's a tier 5. So you're, if you get that first, you probably have, like, Volibear, Kane, and Aatrox. Who, one's an, uh, Aatrox is a warrior, is a frontline warrior. Kane is an assassin who does do magic damage, so you might use it. Uh, but Volibear is a tank. They don't want any, like, none of them actually want that item. It's one of the more common ones you get at the beginning. Uh, Gambler's Blade is essentially the AD version. Gain 1% bonus attack damage up to your 80, 80 in your bank. Each base attack is 4%. Sorry, let's look at Draven's Axe. Again, one bonus attack damage per gold in your bank up to 80 and one stack per basic attack. Out of 100 stacks, gain 10 gold and one item component. This is actually the better one. One of the better early ones because you get an item component from it. 10 gold eventually. And it is just damage who all three of your early starting shimmer scales want. I didn't... They move too quickly. Uh, Mog Mogul's Mail is actually an amazing one. Gain 1 set point five bonus armor and magic resist. And 15 bonus health while taking damage. Stack up to 30 times at maximum stacks gain 2. As long as you put this on a tanky character like Volibear or the Dragon if you get it. You are guaranteed to get gold almost every round. Need this to the big gem. If the holder is alive after 15 seconds of combat. Units deal 1% bonus damage per gold you have. For every 2 unit. Uh, units alive when this happens gain one gold also a good one you can put on a tank and if they live you get a lot of uh, a lot of damage it's like it could be like an ascension you could literally make this ascension uh, we are going to do this find out real quick with that Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Crown of Champions for four every four seconds is where the next base activity is 9,001 the amount of gold you have in your bank. That's true damage. That's the. You need to have nine Shimmer Scale, which is very difficult to get. Uh, diamond Investor. After the holder dies seven times, the sign returns to your item tray and transfers Diamond Hands. Then gain Champion Duplicator, which is Nico's help, and 15 gold. Diamond Hand is. 300 health, 20 ability power, when the holder first drops below 66 and 30% 30 30 health, gain 1 gold and damage immunity for 1 second. So the, uh, did it again, I was too busy reading, the, the previous augment for Colossus. It's good, but it's terrible if you get it, like, late game, you know? Like, you're finishing up your Shimmer Scale build, and then you get that. Alright, we are going to actively watch this Tarak here. In 20 seconds. But yeah, it's not a terrible thing. You can you can get it relatively easy. You should see what the item is and then make a decision off of that. If you really want to go shimmer scale, you have to plan out individual builds based on which item you get first. I have it to find a good one for the AP item. I tried doing uh, legend and that didn't work because well, legend is kind of not great. It is, but it's not. All right. He still has the attack speed. So it is, they start adjacent to the Jade statue, and then they get the bonuses. Alright, Tempest, after eight, after 8 seconds, Lightning strikes the battlefield. Enemies are stunned for 1 second and take percentage of their maximum health as true damage. And this champion's also going to attack speed. Man, I am talking. I like this one, it's very strong. Aoshin, however, is a tier 5 dragon, so you're only going to have 4 until then. And then you go up to 7, so you need a augment of some kind to finish it.
You know what? From here we have the two of the revel. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, uh, where was I? Tempest. I think it's very good. If you can start with a thing and just definitely go for it. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna regret it, but it is a decent it's a decent one. And here's burn shot uh yeah, for Stona. Yeah sure. You know what? We're gonna take the mystic thing. Yeah. I actually thought I had mystic in already. That was my bad. Uh, trainer. Every round, each trainer feeds one snack to the star level, or star level to Nomzi. Like health and ability power. Nomzi star level increases every 25 stacks, so that's what I'm going right now. It's like innovator, but slightly different. The uh, Nomzi there is okay. This has got a really sore, it looks like. Uh, I think I win this. I'm not sure, though. Yeah. It can be good, it can be bad. It's really just depending on how fast you get the trainers, what levels you get them quickly. We get uh, very early level trainers and get them quickly. Then it can be very strong because you can get them very early on, Nomzi. See, this is this is an example of a good Shimmer Scout start. He's got the. Uh, determine the whatever and he's got this thing the mogul's mail so this one's definitely going to live because that's the dragon so they're guaranteed to get a lot of gold he has two shimmer skill things so he was actually undefeated until he fought us whispers that's the next one they shrink enemies reducing their armor matches by 40 percent for six Six seconds when they deal damage to a strong enemy, they also gain bonus ability, damage, attack damage, and ability power. It's it's okay. Uh, give me. Do I have another tier? I don't. Oh, it was a BF sword? I didn't even see that. Give me this. It's okay. They have Thresh, though. Thresh is the Blitzcrank of this. Uh, Pike is also very strong. I haven't seen their dragon too much in action. They can get to seven quite easily. I'm not gonna say not take it, but it's there are better options. 
All right, the classes. The assassin is assassin. If you played once, you've played it, you've seen it before. Bar always at survive combat have a two percent chance to create a dupe. Bar always creates a dupe when dancing, so as long as Bard survives, he always creates a dupe. Each dupe you collect increases your shop odds for higher tier champions by one percent. It's a good way to get goldens if you can get a tier five Bard really early. Bruiser, you gain extra health based on the amount of bruises you have. You just gain double the bonus. It's still good. Uh, can near every fifth attack. There's a cannon shot that explodes per phys for physical damage around the target. It allows quite a lot of extra damage. However, the cannoneers are not amazing. Uh, Senna has a low base attack speed, I'm pretty sure. Jinx stops attacking to use her ability. As well as Tristana, the one that is good with this is Orky over here. Attack speed 7, Jinx is... And is also 7. And 7.5 on Tristana. So it's not terrible, it's not a terrible one to have, but it's... Going to need, like, a better champion or something. If you can make someone else a champion, or... I don't know. Find a way to remove their mana. <laughs> Be good. Cavalier. This is a previous one that's going back. Uh, they charge towards their target whenever they move. That's their innate ability. Uh, they also gain bonus armor and magic resist at the start of the combat and after each charge they gain double the amount for four seconds. And the amount of cavaliers you have depends on the amount they get. It is very strong. One of the stronger ones because it just provides a bonus instantly and it provides a double bonus. It provides a, a bonus on top of that too. Want a BF sword, yeah. BF sword and a giant smelt. Or a BF sword and a warmogs. That's not bad either. A BF sword and a giant smelt. That's what we're looking for here. Come on, game. Really? That's, you can't give me a BF sword and a giant spot here? That sucks. Alright, um... We got fucked up there. Okay, uh, dragon dragons provide three to the market marked trait, but for our two team slots, they're basically the Colossus with better bonuses. This guy does have a thrush. Well then. 
eventually or not. It's uh, it's always good. This trait is only active with one dragon, unless you have an augment. There's an augment that goes over it and says, hey, you can have as many dragons as you want. Dragon Mancer. Use the Dragon Mancer blessing item to choose a hero. The hero gains massive and increased health. The ability to have which increases 5% per star level of your Dragon Mancers. It's good if you want to make one person a carry. There also is a lot of people to choose from as a carry. And it goes over a wide variety of things while over also overlapping. For example, Set and Swain are both Rage Wings and the Dragon Mancers. Karma and Ash are both Jade and Dragon Mancers. Yasuo is a warrior as long with... Uh, no, that's it. The Yasuo is a warrior Dragon Mancer. Polar Bear is a legend... What's his name? Uh, Shield... Shimmer Scale Dragon Mancer. And Lee Sin is a Tempest Dragon Mancer. A nice variety and different amount of things. But also with overlaps. That's upsetting. I think we're to the next level now. Uh, Invoker. Invokers gain mana whenever an ability or, an, or whenever an ally or an enemy casts an ability. It's a good way to spam abilities. I want that. Oh well. Uh, give me this then. Do it as spam abilities. It's not the greatest, but if you can get two of them for like no extra cost to you, that's not terrible. Uh, kind of, but I'm not really paying attention. Oh, this is, uh, PvE. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Guardian. Once per combat, a 50% health. Guardian shield themselves and their closest ally for a, fit, for a percent of their maximum health. And they can stack. So multiple guardians can shield the same person and the shields will stack. If you want a lot of frontline and to protect... Like a very tanky frontline, this is a way to go. And it's a lot of good units with Theona, Tarth, Braum, and Edos. That's the Shimmer Scale Dragon. Fresh isn't really tanky, but it's fine. That's fine. We now have a level 2 Corky, which makes us a lot more stronger here. A legend each combat an adjacent ally sacrifices their life to the legend, so the legend eats them. When the legend gains 100% of their health, armor, and magic resist plus 40% of their ability power. It's guaranteed 40 if it's just base person. It's not my favorite one, but uh, I've seen it work very well. And mage, mage cast their ability twice. They have modified ability power. It's very strong. Oh, I lose here. Oh well. So uh, it's very strong, especially when you actually get them to their normal ability power. Especially with, like, say, uh, rise. Rise as long if you have an one of the new augments called Axiom. What if someone has it right now? Axiom something or other. Basically, when you kill something, they gain mana. That's what the one of the new augments is. So Rise has a lot of mana, and that scales really well with them. We'll just go over this, and then we'll end the video. Whatever. Uh, Mystic, you're team gains bonus magic resist. They increase the magic resist amount from previous Mystic, I guess. I don't remember what it was called. But they also removed the Enchanter. That's what it was. They removed the increased healing and shielding from Enchanters. They increased the magic resist you gain. 
pip shifter transforming against bonus health uh bonus maximum health you can get a very very strong team with shapeshifters they get so much health it's uh, a solid comp as well also it has a dragon and two base rage wings one of them being the dragon so you can get a very strong dragon or rage wing sh shapeshifter build there uh also it has two jades i believe so you can also get a jade shapeshifters spell thief nabs a new ability after each cast and starts to run around to zoe uh i don't know if this is good or not i've seen her work and i've seen her fail epically it, it's 50 50 i guess star caller the first star caller to cast their ability so only soraka so far uh during player comp heals you the player so your 100 health champion or your 100 health character in fictition for 2, 3, and 75 health depending on their star level. Excess healing disintegrates an enemy champion. It means if you have 100 health and she heals you for 2, she kills 2 enemy champions whenever she, the first time she ults. It's very strong. If it's not going against your build, you know, if you have an extra spot, or if you're going Jade, get a Soraka. You'll live a lot longer and win a lot more rounds. As long as she ults. Uh, Swift Shot. The knight gains two hex attack range. It's also it's very good, just by that. The same it isn't because his attack range isn't actually three. I think it's like five. It's I think it's two. I don't know, but they gain bonus attack speed based on the distance between them and the target for each hex. So like a six hex distance they gain. Yeah, this ashes. This is including their traits. So Ash's attack range is 4, including the extra 2, so her base is 2. Ezreal's is 3, so his base is 1. Their ranges are significantly nerfed compared to previous, uh, 3, 3, 3, previous variations of this, which was Snipers. And the final one is Warrior. Warrior attacks have a 25% chance to increase the damage of their next attack. At 2, it's 180. At 4, it's uh, 275. At 6 Warriors, it's a 400% damage increase. So generally, every four, roughly every 4 attacks, their 5th one does a lot of extra damage. So they're basically like a melee version of Cannoneer up there. With a little, with a bit more luck. Now, this is actually a very strong one because of stupid reasons. Shen and Olaf are both warrior bruisers. One's a Scala Scorn, one's so they don't want dragons, one's a Rage Wing, so if they do want a dragon, the warrior bruiser is just you can get like a bonus just from those two. Yon and Yasuo. I believe Yon is Mirage and Yasuo is Mirage Dragon Mets, or sorry, it wasn't Tempest, it was Mirage. So yeah, they're both Mirage as well. So they have a lot of synergy within themselves. Be it extra traits or their main traits. And Aatrox is just there. He is, he is Shimmer Scale. He's just there for the party. It's a very strong one. It can be a very strong one. It sometimes isn't. So once again, it's also luck. But yeah, that is the base classes and base origins we'll go into finer details in a third video the second video will be augments but for now that's gonna be it thank you for watching thank you for stopping by tune in next time for the video where we discuss the augments until then bye